Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Mario Sion. Please dance with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Mario Sion. Please dance with the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion and perseverance thank you you may not be seated today is tuesday april 19 2022 now let's take a brain break inhale as you visualize going up one side of the box gradually filling your lungs with air when you reach the top hold your breath for one to five seconds as you picture going across the top of the box. Exhale gradually as you imagine traveling down to the other side of the box. Pause again for one to five seconds as you go along the bottom of the box. So relax with us next time for our next brain break and SL technique. So relaxing. Now let's go to word of the day. Hey Randy, what are you drinking? Oh hi, it's just this concoction that I made. Cool, what's in it? Well, I mixed fruit punch with some Sprite and I got fruit soda. Wow, that concoction sure sounds tasty. Yeah, it's a yummy mixture. See, See you tomorrow, tomorrow on Word of the, the day. day. I love learning new words. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thanks, Wani. Sports fans, 20-year-old Zach Bates achieved his biggest goal this year when he became the youngest finisher to complete the Cold Water Rumble 100 mile ultra marathon in Arizona. As he flew through the finishing line, he said, just really exciting. What makes this achievement even more special is that Zach was diagnosed with autism at four years old and discovered his love for running in high school. He hopes to inspire others with autism to take up running or a great hobby that keeps them motivated. He is another wonder runner. Now let's go to Angeli to see what's cooking. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch sure is delicious. It is teriyaki chicken patty, hamburger bun, gold potato rounds, diced peaches, and your choice of milk. Scholars, please let your teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Bonnie. I can't wait for lunch. Thank you, Angeli. Scholars, your books are on sale. The prices are now $35. Your books are only sold on myschoolbox.com. Get yours now. Sports fans, tomorrow a girls flag football team has a game. It starts at 4 p.m. and they're going against championship. Let's go, Patriots! NWA testing is almost done. Tomorrow our amazing 6th to 8th graders have their reading NWA. Good luck! Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Now let's check out some highlights from last week's Egg Hunt.
like it was fun. Now let's see what the weather's going to be like today with David. Thank you, Vani. Hey, Patriots. Today we are going to be experiencing a warm day with a high of 86 degrees Fahrenheit and mostly sunny skies. Looks like a nice day to play ball. In other weather news, here is how rainwater can make you sick. Rainwater can reach extremely cold temperatures. Since the level of clouds are high up in the sky, where the atmosphere is cooler, this cold rain can cause hypothermia, weakening the body and straining the immune system. Also, add in in fact that the evaporation can carry bacteria and viruses into the air, making it even more dangerous. So make sure to bring an umbrella before stepping outside. Now let's go to Destiny for today's birthdays. Thank you, David. Today's birthday boy and girl are Kylie McPherson and Xavier Francois. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Vani. Thank you, Destiny, and happy birthday, Patriots. Here are your pet's expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners, congrats to Miss Campbell, Miss Chang, Miss Stone, Miss Gonzalez, Miss Mitchell, Miss Only, Miss Shadid, and Miss Ian Dankwa. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, what is the first toy to be advertised on television? The correct answer is Mr. Potato Head. Teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. What is the tiny piece at the end of the shoelace called? Teachers, please send your answers to pines at renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!